Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2016 in sector 2 guys. Okay, so the question is here, this question also belongs to matrix multiplication guys. Okay, so before watching this lecture, I request you to watch the matrix multiplication original lecture guys in which I have, in which you can find the in course like PDF, in course playlist. Okay, yes. So anyway, I'll be, try, I'll be trying to explain, but if I try to explain the video will be really lengthy guys. Okay, yes. So anyway, let us start. Okay, so here we are trying to find the result, right? So they are they asked that the final result, that's it. They did not give any kind of options and anything, right? Yes. Okay. So let us just start. Okay. So here we are trying to do matrix multiplication and these are the matrices given. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let us start. So again, we just need the answer, right? So there is no need of drawing two matrices. Okay. So let us, let me draw it on this side, guys, because last time we have drawn it on the other side and... Uh, at the end, we did the solution on all the sides, right? So it's a bit confusing. Okay, I think there is some repetition, right? A4. Okay, yes. So A3 and A4. Similarly, A1, A2, A3 and A4. So this is just a matrix representation. Instead of drawing the direct uh, triangle, sorry, direct square, we are uh, using a pyramid type of method, guys. Okay. You will understand why exactly I'm using this method. Okay. Yes. So A1 into A1, if you, we, we are not going to multiply A1 into A1, right? So we are going to multiply A1 with A2 in that way. So that is the reason why these values will be zero and there is no need to calculate the below values. Okay. Yes. So whenever we are trying to calculate the A2 value, what you will do is you will draw some ladders here, guys. So to go to A1, this is a path, right? Yes. So it is a zero plus a zero plus so now write down these values so we are multiplying a1 with a2 right remember so it is a nothing but the first value and second value and the third value multiply so it is nothing but 10 into 5 into 20 so what is the result it is nothing but 1000 guys right yes so here the result is 1000 okay similarly here so what will be the result here again this plus this so that is a 0 plus a 0 plus a so next to three values. So that is nothing but a 5 into 20 into 10. So funny, but this value is also 1000. Yes. So here you can directly write 1000. Okay. Similarly, the third value 0 plus a 0. So this value plus the last three values, which is a 20 into 10 into 5. So again, these values are also absolutely same. Again, the result is 1000. Okay. So after the first iteration, we ended up with the three values and all of them are 1000. So it's really funny. But that's the truth, right? Yes. So now let us continue with this point. Okay. So when coming to this point, we are having two values in this row and in this row also we are having two values. So take this value and this value, add them. So 0 plus 1000. Okay. And leave that line for now and add this value and this value. So that is 1000 plus 0 plus. So now you are multiplying A3 to A1, right? Yes. So from A1, you are starting until A3 you are multiplying. So till here you are multiplying. So write the first value here twice so then write the middle value then write the next value and then write the end value on the end got it yes so this value i wrote first this value i wrote the end so in between we are having two values so i wrote two values separately so among these two answers i need to take the minimum value so for our easy understanding let us calculate them okay so the value will be 5 into 10 into 10 this is nothing but 500 plus 1000 so that this result will be 1500 and let us take the second result that is a 20 into 10 into 10 is equals to it is 2000 plus 1000. The result will be 3000, right? 3000, 3100 to be sorry. It will be 3000 only. I had that, right? Yes. So it will be 3000. So this is minimum. So this value will be 1500. Nice. Okay. Similarly, at this point, you will add these two and these two, right? So indirectly. So it is a nothing but 0 plus 1000. So 0 plus 1000. And below it is a thousand plus a zero, right? Yes, plus plus. So now we are taking these values, right? So five will be starting and ending, and in between we are having twenty and ten. So twenty and ten. Okay. Yes. So now let us write the values for them. Okay. So it is a twenty into five into five is equals to five hundred. Again, this result is one five double zero, and the below result is a, a ten into five into five. That is a two fifty. So two fifty plus thousand is. Two, uh, 1250 right yes so the minimum value is 1250 so here we got 1250 got it yes so now we are left out with the last position okay so if you assume at that position we are having three values right yes so the ladder is now with the three values so with the zero we will add 1250 with the thousand thousand you will add thousand so this value with this value 
and at the end 1500 plus 0. So again you will add. So remember, so now you are taking the whole matrix, right? So first value at the start and end value at the end. In between, write the rest of the values. So 5, 20 and 10. So 5, 20 and 10. So this is a trick method, guys. So you can apply the formula also. But the formula method, I think you will be confused more to be clear. So 20, sorry, 10 into 5 into 5. So it is a 250. So the result will be 1500 with this thing. Okay. So this is 1500. Similarly, for this, it is a 10 into 20 into 5 plus 2000. So this result will be 3000. Similarly, here it is a 10 into 10 into 5, which is a 500. So this result will be 2000. Got it? Yes. So the minimum result is a 1500, right? Yes. So you can say 1500 and the result is 1500. The maximum, sorry, the minimum number of multiplications. Got it? Yes. So it's a quite easy problem only, but only it is a time taking process and calculation is, calculation should be done perfectly, guys. Even if a small silly mistake is done, the whole answer will be wrong. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question, right? And matrix, matrix chain multiplication. Okay. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.